Okay, welcome to part two of today's lesson. Remember, we continue on part one, so this is just part two video. So, if we focus on the parabola in this format, we have we know some certain things. So, from this format, firstly, you all remember we know the A means the shape of my graph, and when A is greater than zero. I'm gonna have a very happy person when it's a positive person. When I have a a smaller than zero, it's very sad person. It's gonna be sad. Now, just keep in mind that's my turning point. Now, that for this graph, my turning point is the lowest point on my graph. So therefore, it's my turning point has a minimum value. And here, my turning point is the highest point, so therefore it has a maximum value. Sweet and short. So that's what we know about the shape. But talking about the turning point, we can calculate the turning point from this format of my parabola. So if you have the parabola in this format, we know if I have x plus p and I take the equals zero and I take the p to the other side we're going to have negative p like the opposite sign remember what we did so therefore my turning point x value is the opposite sign so it's negative p that's positive this one will be negative that's negative this one will be positive and my y value for my turning point is that q as easy as that so they link so this P value link to A and my Q value comes from there. Now, the third thing we can see here is the formula of my symmetry axis of symmetry. Okay, the formula of the axis of symmetry. What does that mean? So if I have the parabola, we have the turning point there, and we know our turning point is minus p q. My axis of symmetry is where, if I cut it in half, it flips over to the other side. So this piece will flip over that line and fits exactly there. So this piece cuts my x-axis. So therefore my axis of symmetry will be x equals to this negative p. So there's again a link. So my axis of symmetry is always x equals to the opposite sign of p. Now the fourth thing we can see from this parabola or cal calculate is from any parabola therefore is your oh, is the domain of what's green. My domain is to do with my x value. So if I look at my x values, any parabola, my x value is going to go greater, 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 greater. So it's infinity. Therefore, x is an element of all values, real numbers. So what can we conclude? There's no restrictions. For my domain. But if we look at the range, it works a little bit different. Coming back to this paper, my range has to do with my y value. So for a form, when it's happy, it goes from this point up to infinity on my y axis. So it comes from this point on my, so where y was 0 to infinity. When it's sad, it goes from that point to lower infinity. So therefore, my form is also important. We know this is going to be a happy face. This point here is my turning point, and that's negative p q, and we said 
my range has to do with my y value. So it's from this point, that's my q point, up to going, 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 infinity when it's a happy face. So therefore, to conclude, we can write this as y greater or equals to my q. So all the way from there, it links. If you don't want to write this way, you have this format also. When y is an element, I said it, we started at q and you go up to infinity. Now, when my graph is a sad face graph, let's say I have a zero. Now we have a sad face graph. Again, my turning point is negative p q. Where my range focus on my q. So from this point, that's my q value, up to it goes down, 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 my y, 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 go down, 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 therefore negative infinity because it goes to the negative side of my graph. So therefore if I want to write this, the range of a negative graph, we know that y is going to be a sad phase, so therefore it's small and equal to my q value. If you don't want to write this formula format, you can write y as an element. It starts from negative infinity. It starts from negative infinity. Always start at the smallest value up to the highest value, and that's my q. Okay, if you want to write that like this format, because it's short and sweet. Okay, so everyone got this. So again, write down, pause the video when needed, and then write down as you continue. So this is summarized from what we can see of my parabola. Okay, so the next video is going to be part 3 of my videos and of today's lesson and part 3 is going to focus on the sketch of the parabola in the format if I give you the, the graph in this format. Okay, so there's certain steps we're going to use and then we're going to sketch it. So, please write this down. Then you go look, look, check the next video, part three.